Hello, beautiful internet world. It is very late here and I'm very hyper. Um, so, I've been writing out. So, last year I made this list and it was like clever motherfucking Fisher. Five things I tell myself to remember who the fuck I am. And I still resonate with a lot of them. Um, but I kind of have made some um, ones that resonate with me now. So the ones that I wrote out last year were, I am multifaceted, everyone is, and you are perfect just as you are today, not who you are tomorrow. This is my beating heart that I'm grateful for, it means I am alive and experiencing life, and I am alone right now, no one can hear my thoughts, no one can hurt me, no one can ever hurt me unless I let them. And your mind and reality are separate entities, not everything in your mind holds true. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, so I wrote a few that have been things I've been thinking on during this trip. So the first one is we are constantly going through phases. We're going to feel all the ways. The trick is to sit in it and know that you'll come back around. Um, I find that this trip has been very interesting. I mean, I feel this way always, to be honest. Like, just I'm really intrigued by watching myself like, go through life. And I feel like um, dips are inevitable. Um, I've been having a really beautiful time. I think I've uh, felt a lot freer than I have in a very long time. But then I go through little phases where I don't feel that way so much. <laughs> and I think it's just part of the process and also just part of living as well. Um, I think just when those feelings occur, just knowing that they're natural and they're not actually detrimental to your growth process and on top of that like I feel I get them like just in regards to my own well-being but also in regards to um, how I feel about my work like there's dips in my work or dips in my priorities and what I think is most important and then like all facets of my life um, I think just knowing that those dips are a part of it or if you have like a fuck up or something that uh, causes you to get behind in your work just knowing oh like that is part of the process it's almost inevitable that sometimes you're gonna lose work or or fall behind on things um, as long as you come back around and come to terms with what had happened quickly um, then you, you were perfect <laughs> Second, um, you're young, you're so young, and you have time to learn your lessons. Uh, I know it feels fresh, uh, frustrating to like fuck up at this age, or at any age, um, but you're quite truthfully at the age to do it. And, and get the term wasted time out of your head, and work on moving yourself forward, forward thinking thoughts. Um, I think a lot, um, thing is I, I really enjoy my work a lot I enjoy everything I do creatively I think it's very cool that I get to, get to do these things all the time um, I think sometimes when things don't work in my favor it's quick for me to ruminate on it and say oh that's that's wasted time even though most of the time I really enjoyed the process anyways um, in the book I'm reading I read this book I read this book last year too, I'm reading it again, <laughs> um, but it just kind of talks about, like, actually I want to name a different example because it does talk about this book, but I just finished reading The Alchemist and they said in it, so this dude, he's trying to learn how to make gold, right, and he's like, learned this lesson from The Alchemist. And he's like, oh, the alchemist told me something I already know, and I didn't give it a try. Um, like, in regards to, like, just try it, like, just make the gold. And he didn't do that before. And he's like, it really sucks that this took me 10 years, but I'm grateful it didn't take me 20 years. And sometimes I'll go through some process for, like, three months, and I'll start to think that that process wasn't actually important to me, or maybe not as valuable as I thought it was, even though in, in retrospect I feel like all of them are just phases of life. But, but um, when I feel that way, or when I feel behind, or when I feel um, frustrated with how long something took me, 
um, or I learned a lesson that I think I should have already known. I, I'm like, I'm learning this all at 23. Uh, in a few years, everything right now will just be a blip. And you won't be looking at the ins and outs of every single month and week, but you'll be looking at the overall process. And the process is quite amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> um, number three is when you don't know if you should do it, the answer is go for it. I sometimes hear this, and I'm definitely somebody who has a million ideas all the time, and some of them have to go on the back burner. Like, I'm just passionate about so many things. Um, and in that way, I kind of disagree with this a little bit because obviously you have to prioritize. Um, but but make a decision, <laughs> make a, a risky decision. Like a maybe you can't move to five countries at the exact same time, but you you can make one cool different decision <laughs> um, and sit in that. And and yeah, ever since I graduated. Um, before that as well but yeah ever since i graduated i've really been trying to accomplish some things that I've, I've always wanted to do and and afterwards it always feels really good <laughs> and keeping things the same is just it's just the same but you take a little risk and you don't know what you're going to get out of it but it's always an amazing opportunity i mean not always but even when it's not it's it's just like another learning curve um, which I think is also very cool. Um, yes, like pretty much everything I've done in regards to travel, like I felt a lot of reasons to not do them, but I feel really grateful that I have. Um, and also just about moving out, I feel like some people don't think moving out is such a big deal, but I personally do. I've always, um, Put a lot of emphasis on moving out and i really wanted to but i found it very daunting uh, financially and also just like you know growing up as well um and i, I guess i just uh felt like i like i wasn't sure why i was doing it then it's not like i was moving in with a partner or i was moving cities or anything like that um but once i did it i had like a very huge growth year so I'm really grateful I did that as well and oh everything you experience finds a place in your heart it just does I think recently um, I've been sitting in a lot of like this happened and what lesson did I learn from that I learned no lesson <laughs> but then you wait a month and then the lesson comes <laughs> um, so I think everything that happens to you and that you experience in instills something in you and even though you can't see what you're learning right away it just naturally um, is part of the progression um, like in the evolution of who you are so I think just trusting that everything is finding its place and you don't have to uh, get incredibly frustrated in learning what the lesson is right away because it'll find you yes that's it for now love you guys Goodbye. <laughs>